Good morning, good morning. It's PCT day number 78. I'm gonna start hiking around 6.30 and then going about three and a bit, three miles and a bit to get to the second entrance into Old Station where they have another convenience store that we heard has better reusable options. So we're gonna get some food and get enough food to get us to Bernie today. Well, not, we're not going to Bernie today. We're gonna go as close as we can and then do whatever's left in the morning tomorrow. Um, yeah, so at least a 23 mile day. We'll see how much further we do. I got really good night's sleep and feel really good even after yesterday. Um, so yeah, today's panning out to be in a great day already. So I was hoping it continues that way. Subway caves. Sunglasses off. Oh. I know. I don't have a second hand. <laughs> I'm trying to hold the camera in. Oh. oh, it's so much cooler in here. That feels so nice. This is kind of cool. In phone video inception. Oh, you're probably taking photos. Watch your step. This is like trip central. <laughs> this is really cool. Yes, I do. This is Hat Creek Valley. Hat Creek. So we just hiked around that mountain the other day. And here comes the one, the only, send it! <laughs> All right, so thought I would update you guys on what's going on. Um, it's about two to three, probably closer to three. Um, and we have about three miles left to the water cache. Um, that is the place we're gonna stop at for a bit and then we're gonna keep going after that to get a campsite. Um, the water can should be at mile 21st today, plus the extra probably two miles that we've hiked today, uh, doing side stuff today. This uh, subway cave, which was that video of that lava uh, tunnel tube thing, um, that was half a mile off trail. Definitely worth it. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, the convenience store this morning that we went to at the second entrance to Old Station was another half mile off trail. And, of course, it's half a mile there and then half a mile back. So that's about two miles extra today um, to add on to the mileage we've already done um, on the PCG. <laughs> so it's going to be a long day in mileage wise, but it's going to be a good day. It's so stinking hot. It's boiling. I'm actually wearing my shorts and I rolled up my sleeves. I'm just putting sunscreen on and body glide and just 
praying that I can cool off a bit. Um, it honestly feels like we're back in the desert. We had to carry a ton of water because it's a dry stretch. The only water source that broke up this 20 mile stretch of no water was um, the second entrance into the station and a water source not too long ago. That was a uh, half a mile to three-fourths of a mile down a steep side trail. So we opted to just carry extra water and then go all the way to this water cache. Um, so definitely feels like we're back in the desert, although that wind feels amazing. Uh, um, in other news, I had service during lunch and I have a new niece. <laughs> She was born this morning. Um, so congrats to my brother and sister. That's amazing. Um, and I cannot wait to meet my niece. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm so very excited to meet my niece when I get home. It's just another reason I want to push the finish trail early. Um, so congrats, congrats. And I can't wait to meet you. I will not say your name on here though, um, but I can't wait to meet you. Ah, so excited. Well, today is Tuesday, which means Tip Tuesday. And for today's tip, if your pack has side pockets on either side, um, fill one with snacks that you can eat while you're hiking. I like to have snacks that don't leave like a thick goo in my mouth. Like anything with peanut butter is out now. I can't do it. Um, but like one of my favorite snacks right now is the Cliff Shot Blocks. Those are so good. They got energy in them, um, calories, um, and they're super, um, they're just like fruity gummies basically. And so they kind of give you a little bit of a liquid as you bite into them. So it's not anything that will stick in your mouth and make it hard to breathe or that you need to drink water with. So those are super nice. Um, so anyway, keep one hip belt pocket with snacks. And the other one, what I find useful is to put things that you'd want while you're hiking. Um, so one thing I like to have in my other hip pocket is sunscreen, like especially on a day like today and when I'm wearing shorts and short sleeves. It's super important to be able to sunscreen up while you're hiking. It saves a bit of time. Um, and if it's right there, you have no excuse to not put it on. Um, and then another thing I keep in there is my headlamp just in case it gets dark. Um, I always have it this as well if I'm gonna push longer in the day. Or if I started hiking early in the morning, I can have it out without having to worry about taking my pack off to put it away. I can just put it in my belt pocket. And the other thing that I've changed since the Sierra is I put my bug net, my head net, in my hip pocket because you never know when you're gonna go through a section that's just swarming. And it's one thing to have them on your arms and your legs, and another thing to have mosquitoes or bugs all over your face. It drives me bonkers. Um, and it will slow me down, so having my bug net there is super handy. Um, so that's my tip Tuesday is get belts, pack them, and what's useful to have in them. So we just stopped at the water cache for like 30 minutes, and uh, Matt, the guy who gave us my last bit of trail magic was there again. Um, so his partner, I don't know what their status is, so I'm just gonna call her, her his partner. Um, she's hiking and so he's been meeting her at a couple of spots and doing trail magic. And so he again provided us with cold drinks on this hot day and some chips and that was wonderful. So thank you. Um, and of course the water cache was there. 
So thank you to everyone that runs that water cache and fills it up. Um, huge help. And definitely wouldn't have been able to do that stretch without them very easily. Um, it's doable, just not pleasant, especially in this heat. Um, anyway, so we left the water cache about 30 minutes ago, maybe a little less, and we're hoping to go three to six miles after where the water cache was. So we'll see where we end up tonight. Um, but man, it's still very hot and it's like 510. Oh, it's super hot. Well, this is 10 Talk for PCT day number 78. I'm cowboy camping tonight. Um, and Foxtails cowboy camping for the first time. Um, so it should be a good night. It's gonna be another warm night. I'm at mile 1,396.8. Um, so that's 22.3 PCT miles. However, we did quite a lot of non-PCT miles today, like two or three. Um, so I'm feeling it. Um, yeah. Pretty for today was definitely the subway lava tube thing. That was really cool. Um, and also I got trail magic, so that's always good. Um, and the goodie for today is basically just the heat. Um, and towards the end, my knee started to hurt a bit. Um, so that's that. Uh, here's my sketch and my foot picture. And of course my message to the fam. I love you. Rock on. <laughs> I'm very dirty. <laughs> Face and hands. And as always, we'll see you on the trails.